Hello dear T friends from around the world and welcome to a new T class with me Stefan Erler the founder of the t-masters.com uh, tea boutique and uh, I would like to make today uh, a class uh, you see I've I'm prepared I'm going to perform a stunt this is um, we are going to to test our tea like we were driving a Bugatti on the autobahn this is uh, something that can be very dangerous so please uh, follow my instructions if you want to do it at home uh, I hope that I can teach you this uh, class so that at the end we don't need uh, this helmet on but um, for better protection let's start uh, fully equipped and uh, well protected. So the idea is um, well, if you have uh, if you did not have time to, to read my article, otherwise you can uh, go on uh, later on if it's still not clear, the one I posted this week on my blog, uh, T Master's blog, a very good blog. And um, so the idea is, uh, well, if we purchase uh, high quality tea, loose tea, uh, if we really go through the trouble of learning Gong Fu Cha and, um, and selecting tea that uh, comes from the original place where it's uh, grown, harvested in uh, Taiwan or in, in China or in Japan. Uh, we really uh, expect something high quality. And uh, if you have something of a uh, high quality, then you are you also expect that uh, it can uh, give you a lot of uh, flavors, a lot of taste, and uh, you don't want to, to brew it the same way that uh, you would brew it with um, uh, that you would brew a, a tea bag uh, with maybe not optimal water, not a high temperature uh, in a mug. So we are here to learn about Gong Fu Cha, about um, uh, brewing uh, maybe ideally in an Ixing teapot or if maybe if you're a beginner you want to brew in a gaiwan or you use a competition set uh, that's that's okay uh, this is what we strive for but um, really most importantly is our tea how good is it can it really take the heat can it accelerate as fast as a porsche on the autobahn how how fast can it go how how much flavors are in these leaves so today I'm not going to teach you the best way to make tea. No, this is, uh, there are, if you really want the refinement, you can see this in my other videos, uh, which I have made every week, videos to teach you about the refinement of tea. But today I want to tell you again, the brute way of testing a tea. The, uh, really the, the way to get the most out of tea so that you know the limits of your tea. Okay. Maybe you're lucky and your tea is excellent. It's going to taste excellent like this also. Maybe there is a way to make it a little bit finer uh, later on uh, with uh, more complexity like I've shown you before. That's great. But maybe you think you bought a uh, high quality uh, tea and uh, if you go through this method now that I'm going to show you, you will find out, no, oh, actually, it really tastes horrible uh, when I make it this way. And then you will have an information, the truth about your tea. How good is it in reality? Can it really, maybe it cannot take the, this test. Maybe it, it's going to fail, but at least you will know about this tea. And you know that you will have to change your brewing parameter really a lot when you want to uh, make it good. And, uh, but maybe it's going to be a great tea and actually, there's not so much that you have to change because if you change, uh, if you use lower water, lower temperature water, if you, if you use a lower, uh, a shorter steeping time, you are going to get less flavors, less enjoyment. And then actually, this, is, uh, this can tell you a lot of how far you can push your tea when you really want to make it uh, as good as it should be. So. Today I'm going to show you three different ways of doing it. And not just one, not just two, but three, uh, because I'm really so nice. Okay, one, we're going to, this is maybe the most professional, the, the, the most difficult way, simply using um, a bowl. 
I will keep this maybe for the end. Second, the most important, with the guy one or this competition set of porcelain, this is the way you should uh, do this test uh, when you are a beginner. Uh, most of the time, uh, because porcelain is neutral, so you can, if you have just one guy one, you can use it to test all the teas you have at home. And they, uh, they will all perform uh, satisfactorily with this guy one, so it won't be such a, a problem. And I use this guy one because it's roughly the same size as this uh, professional uh, competition set. Uh, well, here this is a competition vessel. Actually, the whole set is when you have the bowl and when you have this plate where you put your, um, uh, your leaves on. I've measured them, three grams each. Uh, so that we have consistency, so that uh, each time you test a different tea, if you always measure the same uh, weight, then you will also be able to compare different teas with each other. Uh, so this can be very helpful. And uh, the third option that is possible is also to test it with your dedicated teapot for this type of tea. Uh, if you are more advanced, if you have lots of teapots, maybe you don't use guy ones to drink so often, you already know, oh, this is my favorite teapot for high mountain oolong, uh, or maybe another one for hong shui oolong, or for one for poor. So instead of using a guy one um, for all the teas, you can say, okay, I'm going to test it with my uh, dedicated teapot for this type of tea, because most of the time I'm drinking my high mountain oolongs with this teapot. So uh, if I test it with this teapot also, it also helps me to, uh, to compare and I'm not, um, uh, okay, maybe then I'm, uh, I get the additional information of how the teapot transforms the tea, how hopefully it makes it better, but, um, um, but it will help me also to really know uh, how far it can go because um, Ishing clay keeps the heat better than uh, porcelain. In porcelain, the um, brewing heat is going to drop much faster in than in Ishing. So actually, this is going to push the tea even further because it will keep the water temperature higher inside the teapot and therefore extract more flavors from the leaves. So this is um, uh, also a, a good way of testing your tea once you have dedicated uh, a dedicated teapot uh, for uh, the tea uh, type that you are going to test. Today the test uh, is going to be on my winter dialing 96k uh, from uh, this winter just for a couple of uh, months ago. I've measured three grams uh, three times and um, if you are familiar with my videos and my classes you'll know that we have to do one thing to start this testing is we're going to preheat our vessel because a vessel that is uh, preheated is going to keep its temperature uh, higher during the brewing time and therefore you are going to ex extract more uh, flavors and this is what we want we want to extract as many flavors as we can from these tea leaves. So, uh, let's. Which one should we take? Uh, guy one or a competition set? I'm looking. Nobody has any clue, nobody has any idea. Let's use this uh, competition set to be really the most professional possible. This one will do. Uh, maybe uh, some other time. And, okay, my secret weapon is this um, porcelain teaspoon. With it, later I can uh, also uh, get my uh, brew and put it in my cup to taste. And I can even use it to smell. So, my water is come to a boil. Let's preheat this cup and this teapot you see it's cold outside outside in winter so I'm first preheating on the outside and only then on the inside it 
takes a while. In order to save some, um, some water, I'm going to use this water to preheat my bowl for the bowl part. And okay. What is really important is that the uh, lid be very, very hot. This is um, the part that uh, uh, you have the most um, mistakes during the preheating is that people preheat too quickly and the lid the lid does not have time to uh, to get uh, warm and then that's when the um, uh, the errors the mistake happens because a cold lid is going to cool down the the brew and um, then the leaves are not going to open up so so well and uh, release their flavors Hopla. so you'll see the design perfection is that this uh, will hold the vessel on top and oh, it's a lot so Now, our three grams of leaves in this teapot, in this cup, and I start with these two. As a way to pour, we can be really very strong can even talk a little bit while we pour. It's not about perfection, it's about strength and really testing the leaves hard, making them swirl as quick as possible. And now, very quickly, okay, I know to when, when it started my, uh, my brew and in six minutes, I'm going to uh, empty my cup. And and now in the meantime, I'm going also to brew in my bowl here. So it's also preheated. And, and here we go. Now the advantage of this one is that we can see the leaves unfurl. We can okay, even preheat a bit our spoon uh, to let them, to help them to open up. We can give them a swirl so that um, the, uh, these uh, rolled leaves open up better, especially uh, oolong leaves need um, uh, need some strength to open up this will really help to uh, to open because uh, here the bowl is opened so the water temperature drops even faster so it has more difficulty to open up compared to a um, teapot or this cup so i'm giving it a help in the meantime i can also start to preheat my cup that I'm going to use to drink. Yep. Now usually we are not looking at our watch because uh, we want to use um, uh, an approach based more on our experience and on our senses, the sense of smell, uh, especially or the sight when we see how that the water level goes down this is also a sign that the uh, tea is usually ready or when you smell that the um, 
uh, sense have been released. But today, for this method of um, testing the tea to its max, we really want to, to push the brew for six minutes. This is the standard that uh, is used in the Dongding Oolong competition in Lugu, in central Taiwan. Uh, a competition that has been going on since 1976. The, it is the biggest um, tea competition in the world with um, around 5,000 lots of teas that are evaluated, judged. Uh, now, uh, every winter and spring, it used to be only spring, but in, uh, already for uh, several years, it's, they've added uh, the winter also. Okay, I see these leaves are opening quite well now in the bowl. We can already start to, to smell. Mm, nice smell. And we can continue to, um, uh, to monitor how it's going on. So this will also tell me that uh, they're probably at the same stadium or maybe even opening up uh, better here in the cup. Okay, uh, how far? It's almost four minutes. Or, or three. So uh, here's the advantage: we can uh, smell a little by little uh, as it's going on, and we are not limited by um, uh, a certain time frame. Uh, for these, it's going to be exactly six minutes, and then it will stop. Here we can see before and after. Uh, we can actually we can we will push it even longer than six minutes. But uh, why six minutes? Why why t not ten? Well, uh, actually, when you get to the end, the longer you uh, you brew, uh, actually at the end you don't get so much more out of uh, of the leaves, especially with the temperature of the uh, uh, water dropping uh, more and more. Uh, so. Uh, that's why six minutes is really enough to um, to get most of the uh, flavors out of your leaves. Mm. Mm. Still very very nice smell. I don't detect much um, uh, bitterness or astringency. Now I'm emptying my. Uh, my cups. Okay, put this on the side. Up. Up. Uh, let's preheat more. Uh, I think we are coming close to six minutes. In so we started with this one, but this one is easier to do. I'm not going to take the risk of doing both at the same time. So what I will do is, okay, six minutes, if I'm correct, and here. So actually, it's going to be interesting also for me. It's the first time I compare the. Uh, test in a teapot with the test in porcelain. I'm uh, curious to know is there really a big difference between these two or not? Did the Juni Ishing add a lot of flavors or not? Apparently it did so because um, color is uh, more intense from the teapot, even though we can see that um, the volume in this teapot is uh, larger, but I used the same amount of leaves. And nevertheless, I still got a more intense color here in, um, from my uh, Ishing. And okay, now we have to test okay, quickly first here. Here is uh, actually the lightest color. This one is a little bit more intense.
Yes, a bit more intense also in the mouse feel. Mm. And this one also more intense, not only in the mouse feel, but also in the fragrances. The fragrances um, in these two are uh, uh, yeah, slightly over the top, but not that much uh, over the top here. Now, the difference with this ball is here it's going to continue to uh, become more and more intense with time. Still very smooth. Amazing, no bitterness. It's sweet. So this is really a Bugatti. Huh? This is really uh, the kind of uh, car you want on the Autobahn. The one you can really push and... Mm. And uh, it's not astringent, it's really still very comfortable and uh, you get a lot of taste with only 3 grams. Uh, so that's a perfect tea for, for this test. And here more mouthfeel uh, again, longer aftertaste. Mm. The, um, uh, instead of being flowery, the, now the smells are more fruity. Um, uh, I could live with something lighter. Uh, if, uh, if I wanted something lighter, uh, I would be uh, also very, very happy. Uh, but it is, um, there are no big defects. Uh, uh, very excellent, excellent. I'm looking at the leaves have opened up well we can see them better than here mm. and the smell is great so here is an example of um, uh, a great tea that does very well in this kind of um, test with you saw three grams six minutes preheated uh, cup or teapot and even in this cup actually uh, after six minutes, this was the weakest, but it's going to become stronger as time goes, uh, continues to, to go on, because it continues to brew compared to these where the brew has, uh, has stopped. So now this really tells me, well, this dialing is uh, a great, great tea, top quality. It has withstood this test uh, beautifully. Uh, and. Uh, now I know and I can believe it's really dialing because uh, it did so well. Now uh, you have the truth uh, and you can find out by yourselves uh, how good your teas are with this method, either with porcelain cup or your uh, dedicated Ishing teapot or with a simple uh, porcelain bowl. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed this uh, video. <laughs> I did this stunt, I survived. Go on and see you next week for another tea class. Bye bye. <laughs>